guys, so I'm often asked about plastic undergarments, which are used on a deceased. Usually it is the response to the question of, I touched my brother when he was in the casket and it felt like there was maybe a plastic bag on him. Or grandma felt a little crunchy <laughs> under her shirt. So all sorts of different questions, or maybe somebody looked extra bulky. Typically, they probably had some plastic undergarments on them. Now, these are designed by chemical companies who also do prep room items that we use as embalmers when we're getting a deceased ready. If someone has done skin tissue organ donation, these are often used. Uh, if someone's been in an accident or had some trauma to their body that they may have additional leakage during um, the viewing time and we want to ensure that that fluid is not going to seep out into the casket we will use these plastic undergarments also maybe if someone had edema and their tissue just keeps sweating out that extra fluid we will most likely use these plastic undergarments there are several different styles and types that we use, so I'm gonna show you the variety. So this first style is called the Capri. So, as you can see, it is one solid pant that has a full foot. And so that way if any fluid leaks towards the feet, it can accumulate down in the foot area. This also is pretty high waisted as you can see. So this capri covers the feet and goes all the way up to mid waist. Um, we can pull it up further, we can pull it down, but it does cover the full buttocks, waist area, and the full legs. So anything that leaks out from the waist down is going to all be collected. Okay, so the next item I'm gonna talk about is coveralls. These are mostly used if you have leaking in the abdomen or in the buttocks area. Some funeral directors will use maybe a diaper type item or it depends on an individual rather than sometimes this larger, the coverall, but the coverall does cover a much wider variety of problems that we maybe run into. So it comes way up over the chest area, but it only comes to about mid thigh um, in the pant area. All right, next is what is called a unional. This is a full body, back, front, leg, you name it, covers the person from head to toe. These are most often used if someone is an extreme um, decomposition type situation or burn. Um, or someone has done a full skin, tissue, long bone donation. This will be put on over what is remaining of that individual so that we can keep the leakage, the leaking um, down for the viewing time. And yes, all of these items come in different sizes. Um, they are, these are, sometimes difficult to put on a person because we have to kind of scoot them down into the legs and up over the back um, so without tearing anything because if we tear then we take it off and start over new with a new one because if there's holes in what you're using to help prevent leaking what's the point so we would have to take off and put a new one on So very similar to the coverall is the pants. This is much more for just the buttocks and private area and lower abdomen, uh, much more for the 
type of situation that maybe a funeral director might just use depends. Um, so it's really up to the person doing the preparation that knows the condition of the individual and what the needs might be, whether there is leaking or whether there might be a situation. Sometimes if there's bed sores that um, are emitting an odor or leaking, this might also be worn. This one just comes right to the waist and covers down and it goes right to mid thigh. You can see as we're looking at these plastic undergarments why they create a bulky appearance. They do come in varying sizes, but even if you chose closest to the size of the individual, you're still going to have some additional extra room within the item. Now the last two that I'm going to look at, the two styles, is a sleeve and a stocking, which are just that. So this is a sleeve. These are probably more common than a lot because you may have an individual that has leaky IV holes um, from being in the hospital or maybe a lot of tears from skin tearing um, as sometimes older people, their skin gets very frail and it gets some breaks in it. Um, so they may use this. There are a lot of things we can use or try to use depending if we have them readily available, um, rather than using some of the plastics. The plastics are kind of an extra assurance though, insurance for us to assure us that we'll have minimal problematic situations of leaking um, when the individual is in the casket. So that is a sleeve and then a stocking. It's just that, kind of like a thigh-high stocking, essentially. So these are the different types of plastic undergarments. And I know you're going to say, oh my gosh, who wants to wear that for all eternity in their casket? It's all about the presentation and making sure that we have treated the body the best that we can in terms of preservation and the conditions that are kind of at hand for us to um, have to treat. And so above and beyond, if we need to encase some leaking, we need to prevent you know, the body fluids from soaking out into the casket, we will then go to using these plastic undergarments. But these are a breakdown of the different type of undergarments that we may use and may answer some of your questions about maybe what you saw or felt under your loved one's clothing. Bye.